Today I'm going to show you how to take one YouTube video and redirect it to another YouTube video. Stick around, I'll show you how to do this and why you may want to do it for your own videos. Coming right up. Okay, so the first step you're going to do is log into YouTube and jump over to your own channel. Click my channel left hand side and go to video manager. And I'll give you a little bit of background of why you may want to redirect your videos as well as why I'm doing it today and why I'm showing you how to do this. I have created a video months ago called create a website using Zoho sites. Now this video was 48 minutes in length and after I watched it a few months later, actually pretty recently, I realized that it is a really long video and has a lot of excess information within it. I was able to edit the video and cut it down to a length of 19 minutes. So I had almost 30 minutes worth of excess stuff in that original video. I uploaded that new video, but you notice that it really doesn't have the number of views that the original video has. Now, you can't simply replace a video on YouTube and say, I am overriding what it currently exists, and there's pretty good reason for that. YouTube doesn't want people selling their video or their video links. Think about it this way. If a video goes viral on YouTube and starts become, getting millions and millions of hits, a company or someone could offer that user, hey, I'll give you $100 and you let me have that link. So all those different websites online that are saying, hey, check out this neat little video, are all now pointing to a new video. And this person can then post whatever they want. So YouTube, I think, probably wisely, does not allow you to simply replace a video with another video or redirect automatically from one video to another. Instead, what they allow you to do is create annotations that they can then link back to another video. So that's what I'll be showing you here today. So obviously step one, create your new video that you want and go ahead and upload it to YouTube. Then you'll come back to your original video that you want to redirect. And let's go ahead and edit. What you're gonna notice, I'm gonna go ahead and play it for now and turn off the volume. And what you're going to do, let's make this full screen you're going to see these little boxes pop up and once clicked they're going to bring you over to the new video over here on the right hand side you'll also notice that there's this little eye information video and when you click on that it's going to bring you a link to your new video so let's go ahead and get that set up I've already done in this video so I'll show you what I've done and to do this you're going to start with we'll start with these boxes on the left hand side we'll go to end screen and annotations now, quick point to note here, YouTube is going to warn you that end screen uh, annotations are not available on mobile phones. So you're not going to be able to, any annotations you add won't be seen on a smartphone while watching YouTube. But end screen elements can and you can't have both. That's okay. If you want to learn how to use end screen, uh, I have another video for that. I can post it in the description below. But uh, for now, in order to get that big bright pop-up, when people are watching your video, you're gonna to need to use annotations. So let's go ahead and start. You're gonna to come to this screen, end screen annotations, go to the annotations tab, and you're gonna click add annotation. Now I've already at, had two annotations out here already that start at five seconds and seven seconds. You can see that here it pops up. There's a seven second one. Both of these have a link. So let's go ahead and it's really quite simple. You just click add annotation. You can add a speech bubble, note, title, spotlight, you know, use whatever annotation you'd like. Add it to your screen. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Put in a note. Click here to watch latest video. And you're going to select this link. Now this is where you paste in the link for your new video. So let's go ahead and bring that up. Come back here to YouTube, my channel, video manager, and we'll go to the short version. 
And again, let me go ahead and pause that. Just go ahead and copy the link, jump back to your original video, and paste. You can start the linked video at a certain section if you want, and you can also choose open in a new window. If you are redirecting, you probably don't want people to continue watching the old video. Instead, you'd rather that they can just jump automatically to the new video. So I would suggest leaving this box unchecked. Uh, you have your options of choosing when it starts, when it ends. You can let it run for a few minutes or just a few seconds, whatever you want to say. You can also change the size of your font, background color, font color, you know, whatever you want it to make it stand out, look pretty bright on here. The next section is cards, and cards are available on mobile phones, so they are pretty helpful. What they allow you to do is you'll get this little eye in the upper right hand corner. And if you use this, you can click on it, it's going to say whatever you want it to say, and it's going to have a link to your new video as well. So real simple, just add a card, video, or playlist, create. You can select your new video, put in your custom text, watch the latest video, and then create your card. Now I already have this card created, and this is how it's going to look. Now I have two cards on here. You can have multiple cards, not really necessary for, for my description. You only only need the one, so I'll get rid of that, that new card that I created. And so we have our long version with a card linking to our new version, our shortened version. Okay, so that's how you redirect a video using YouTube. Of course, you can't replace a video. So you have an old version of a video that you want to replace with a new one. You can't do that. The best you can do is redirect using annotations. And again, these only appear using a web browser. Or you can use cards, which do also appear on smartphones as well as a web browser. Those are your two options to redirect people watching your video to hopefully click on that and watch your new video as opposed to your old video. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll make sure to respond. Otherwise, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be putting out more help videos in the future, so I hope you enjoy them. Otherwise, check out some of my other videos that I've already recorded. And take care, everyone.